Hi everybody, it's me, Lauren, um, and welcome to our Sunday session. Um, in a little moment, we're gonna have um, our craft for this week, where we'll be making Doves of Peace. Um, and I'm hoping that you've all been able to uh, download some of the um, coloring sheets and the templates in order to do that. Uh, so we have two templates. Uh, we have a small one and a larger one. Uh, the larger one I think is great for younger children and the smaller one um, is uh, great for slightly older children or grown-ups because I had a great time making mine. Um, and so um, I'm hoping that you'll be able to watch the video and make those and even give them out. So I've also included in your pack a little gentle reminder gift tag, which I'm hoping, and my challenge to you this week, is to make these doves and either hang them up on a tree or something at home, just like this, or to give it uh, to somebody with the uh, little gift tag as well as a symbol of you spreading God's peace in the world. Now, let's, without hesitation, uh, hop over to the craft and uh, then I'll see you back here in a few moments. So today we're going to be making a dove of peace to symbolize the Holy Spirit. So you're going to get your template and some scissors and you're also going to need uh, some wool or string here and then the gift tag with the little poem that should be in the activity pack linked. And you could also use some felt and use the template uh, to cut out some felt as well. But first you need to cut out your uh, dove here and then and on the wings, uh, you're welcome to actually write a prayer on the wings if you would like, either a prayer for you or for somebody else. You're gonna fold that into a fan shape, just like I'm doing here, and then fold it in half and thread it through the little hole of the dove. And that is it, there we go, the dove's flying away. Um, now get some string, and you're just gonna loop that string through the hole, and you can tie the end so that you can actually hang your dove on a tree just like I'm doing. Uh, if you would like you can get the gift tag um, poem and thread that through your dove and then you're welcome to actually give uh, this dove with the poem to somebody that you think needs some peace um, and let it be a reminder uh, to help make God's creation a little kinder. If you're back um, here with me, that means that you're really excited to learn a little bit more about God's peace, and that's wonderful. So I've got a very short story to share with you um, as well. There's actually our gospel reading this week from the Gospel of Luke, which has this amazing moment at the end where, spoilers, I know, uh, where we hear God's voice and we see the person of Jesus and then we also see this beautiful white dove appear. Now, over the years, we've taken this part of the story as this amazing symbol for something that we call the Trinity. Now, the Trinity is a fancy word for three in one, basically. And that is three, right? That's God the Creator, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus. And we also talk about that being the different forms that God takes. Uh, that's why it's three in one, because they're all God. So we have Jesus as a human. We have the Holy Spirit as the way that God moves in the world. And then we have God the Creator as well. And so that's some very complicated theology there for you, but I um, I know that you're super brainiacs and you're gonna be able to wrap your amazing brains around that because that is our inspiration for this week, for the peace of God, is that how God works in the world isn't through um, Jesus anymore because Jesus came, but then Jesus is with us in our hearts, but not here in person, right? So our challenge as Christians and as good humans in the world is to share love and to share God's peace. And so we learn about um, God's peace through um, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is how God's peace comes to us. And just like how we might 
offer peace to somebody else by saying I love you or comforting you or being with them, um, they might also do the same for us. So peace isn't just a one-way thing, it's a two-way thing for anybody. And so you can give your peace to other people and people can give their peace to you. And I think that's this really beautiful image. And so that's kind of what we're replicating with those doves, that you can give that peace to somebody who you think needs it, or you can hold on to it yourself because maybe you need a little bit of peace, especially this week going back to school. So I'm gonna read our story here and um, then we'll say a little prayer. This is from the Gospel of Luke, but it's been adopted. People came from all over. Let's go hear John, they said to each other. Some of them walked a long way. Some of the people came just because they thought it would be fun to hear John talking. He's a little bit weird, they laughed. He wears animal skins for clothes and he shouts and yells. But other people came because they were hungry for God. They felt kind of empty inside and they thought maybe John could help them. They wanted to be baptized. When we are baptized by John, we won't feel empty anymore, they said. We'll know that God lives inside of us. All the people gathered beside the Jordan River where John was speaking. Get ready, said John. I baptize you with water, but someone is coming, God, who is sending someone, someone who will baptize you with God's Holy Spirit. As each person came to be baptized, John held them under the water for just a few moments and prayed and said, please God, fill this person with your love. One of the people who came to be baptized was Jesus. And when he had been baptized, he stood in the water for a long time praying. As he was praying, the sky seemed to sort of open up. It seemed as if God's spirit came down on Jesus in the shape of a pure white dove. And there was a voice, a soft and beautiful voice that said, you are my child. I love you. I am pleased with you. And that's our story. And you should find that in your activity pack as well if you wanna read that again. So just as we finish up here, I've got um, our candle that I'm just going to light. There we go. And just before we pray, like we always do on a Sunday, you're going to take a great big deep breath in and breathe in God's love and breathe out everything that distracts us from that all of our worries our stress our anxieties and breathe in god's love and breathe out everything else so we can focus on god all right creator god thank you for all of the blessings and challenges that have yet to come this week as we go about our everyday lives. I ask that you would give the peace of your Holy Spirit to each of us and that you would encourage us to share the peace of God with everybody that we come and meet and talk to. All these things we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. All right, thanks everybody. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you very soon. Take care.